guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Penumbra Moon Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we finished the trials on Akala Island. We took on Olivia. We went to Aether Foundation, took on Nihilego, and made our way here to the third island of our Alolan League challenge. So, well, the I guess the Alolan, I don't remember what the trials are called, but whatever. The Alolan Island Challenge, whatever. Close enough. Anywho, in today's episode, we are going to be getting our asses whooped or kicking the asses of both Hao and the best evil team leader, one of the best evil team leaders, Guzma, the man himself. Uh, he's probably going to kick our ass more than anything, but uh, first we have to stick on Hao. I'm pretty confident that I can win this. Um, I'm going to get revenge for my boys Dale and Linus because we have not fought, fought Hao since then, I think. Yeah, we haven't fought them since, so this will be a good little change of pace and we'll be able to avenge our fallen allies after, I don't know, 10 parts. It feels like 10 parts, I'll tell you that. But Either way, um, I'm pretty sure that Turbo can... Turbo here can most definitely take out this Incineroar with probably, like, three... Yeah, probably, like, three Ancient Powers. Maybe I can get an Ancient Power boost here, though. Wouldn't that be something? What is the chance? 20%? Nope. Okay. Well... All right, three Ancient Powers it is, and you have... <gasps> That's gonna kill me. Oh, my God. That did a lot of damage. I don't appreciate that. All right, sir. Never mind. I got the crit. It didn't even, I didn't even need the ancient power boost. I got this. I got this, boys. All right. What are you bringing out next? I don't know. Probably. Maybe a grass type. Maybe a ground type. Not a grass type. A water type. I'm going to go to Ulysses and scope out the scene. What could it possibly? Oh, why? Do you have surf? That would explain it, actually. Never mind. Okay, well. I'm just going to murder this Dragonite real quick. It's going to take two turns. Uh, this thing definitely has marble scale. But, either way, we're doing good. We're making good progress so far. I've got some good counters for his team, apparently. I do remember most of his team. I don't think he had a six. He did. He had to have had a six Pokemon. He's an important battle. Um, I don't remember the last Pokemon he had. But, uh, last time around, he had... The Victory Bell, which fucked my team up. Uh, Lopunny. He had the Dragonair, so I do remember... I did I did remember the Dragonair. I just kind of forgot for a second. Um, he has Raichu. And then... Let's see. Victory Bell, Raichu. Incineroar. Lopunny. And... Dragonite? Is that what it was? So, I don't know what his last Pokemon's gonna be. What are you gonna bring out? Oh, probably the Victory Bell. Turbo, I need to heal you up real quick, and then I need you to not die to this thing. I'm gonna try to one-shot it with an Inferno Overdrive. There it is. This is it. We're gonna... We're gonna get our revenge. We're gonna get our revenge right here, right now. I'm gonna kick some ass. And this Victory Bell is gonna go crying home to his mama. A.K.A. Ow. So, let's get that Leaf Blade. How much does that do? That does absolutely fuck all. Get out of my face, Victory Bell. You are gonna die today. Inferno Overdrive. There is no way you're living. You just strengths at me, you idiot. What a moron. What a little dum-dum. Alright, well. This is, this is going a lot better than I thought. I was honestly anticipating death. So, then again, I was very prepared for his team. Um, for the most part, I remember, I did remember five as Pokemon. I don't remember what his six was, but I don't think it matters. His six Pokemon is probably been changed at this point, but I feel like he should have a water type, right? He should, unless Raichu having Surf. I think Raichu has Surf, and based on the fact that he went into Dragonite while Turbo was out, Dragonite probably has Surf, so... Maybe he gave the Raichu Signal Beam. That would make sense. What is your next Pokemon going to be? I don't know. I'm going to go into Georgia. It's probably a... It should be a water type. It has to be. It has to be. Georgia, I'm going to let you take care of this. I'm going to take... You, you, you can take the reins. That's a Palisand. That is not a water type. However, it happens to be a ground ghost type, which means this guy can't fucking touch me. I'm going to murder this thing. Georgia, that's going to take like two or three hits. Two hits. Look at that. This thing's dead. This thing is literally dead. That is fantastic. 
I can't believe this is working. Okay, well, problem solved itself. Wow, it took one turn to kill ya. That's gonna kill you, right? Yeah, okay. Good job, Allison. I'm really proud of you. I'm really glad that you um, did the deed for me because it made my life, my life way easier. Does Curse do more damage every turn? Is it like badly poison or what is it? I don't know what he's gonna bring out next. Okay. All he has left are Raichu and Lopunny. Is he gonna bring out Raichu next or Lopunny? Georgia is a normal type. Lopunny probably has, I would assume, Lopunny definitely has Jump Kick, so I'm gonna let Mac take care of this thing. And worst case scenario, I switch into, okay, yeah. Worst case scenario, I could have just switched into Eevee Light anyways, so that was actually a pretty good check. Okay, I'm gonna get flinched this turn, aren't I? There it is, okay. Wow, it's gonna take us just over six minutes, probably just under seven, to completely demolish Hal's team. And then probably get my shit. You have a fucking life orb, sir? What? Go away. Go away, Law Bunny. Get out of my face. I don't like you that much. Thank you. I didn't appreciate that all that much, so I'm really glad that worked. All right. Well, dude, max attack stat is absolutely just dumbfounding. All right, your last Pokemon is Raichu. Violet or Eviolite? I think I should go Violet because that thing might have Signal Beam. Yeah, that's what they learn, right? Yeah, Psychic Types learn Signal Beam. I remember that. I'm like, a, I'm a smart, competitive player, guys. There he is. I love a little Raichu, by the way. He's so cute. All right, I'm just gonna go for the Xs, or I know I don't, like, I know my physical attack is not that good. My special defense isn't that good either, actually, now I've really thought about it. So, wow, that almost worked out in my favor, but it did not. Okay, so that did 79. So I live another. Unless that was a low roll and I'm gonna die here. Dude, Violet watched Dale and Linus get slaughtered by that victory bell. And she said, I am not going down to this motherfucker. I am not. I am going to avenge Dale. I'm going to avenge Linus. That's what we did. Look at that. Violet is the MVP. You gave me a Lycanium Z? Excuse me? Are you going to give me a Rockruff too? I would love that. I need. Speaking of Rockruff, I need a Lycanroc on my team. Because I love the I love the Rockruff evolution line. And I love all three forms of Lycanroc. Uh, but, however, I will say Dusk Form. is. It should be Dusk Form. Yeah, Dusk Form is my favorite. Forever and always. I just absolutely adore it. It's so good. I love, I don't know why, but the orange color scheme of Lycanroc's Dusk form is fantastic. It makes me happy. I feel like I should buy more potions because Guzma's gonna kick my ass. But I have an encounter in here to go and grab. I'm gonna do that first. Oh, twins. You're not crazy. Hello. All right, yeah, let's just, let's get our encounter. Oh, we can't ride our Tauros here. Look at the little. The little growlets they're so cute are those swablu on there is that what i'm looking at those are swablu right those have to be swablu there's no other pokemon that looks like that all right how as much as i would love to do all that i have some trainers that i can fight over here that i feel like i should i also have an encounter to get and a pokemon who is not turbo to put in the front of the party so maybe yeah you feel i can take care of this what's our encounter gonna be something good i hope that would be fantastic but with my luck, it won't be. That makes me sad. That makes me really sad. I just want to get an encounter, dude. Like, please. Please. Like, a good one, actually, would be fantastic. I don't know what I expected. All right. I guess I deserve this one. Okay. That This is also terrifying because this thing can definitely kill me. This Ultra Ball is going to catch this thing, right? I was going to go fight some trainers before I take on Guzma because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. And also because Guzma really scares me and I really don't want to fight him uh, unprotected. Especially because uh, EVLA is probably not going into this fight because he uses bug types. I'm going to name you Jane. That was the name of mine. My Wobbuffet, who unfortunately lost her life pretty fast in um, the Omicron Nuzlocke. Omicron... 
That game dragged on because I made the mistake of deciding I was going to do all three regions and I was on like episode 64 and it almost burned me out from doing YouTube, which is really not a fun story uh, when I really kind of go back and think about it. But it was a fun game. It was a pretty fun game. And the randomizer was great. I thought it was fun. It was fantastic. Um, I'm going into a battle with a guy with two bug type Pokemon. So, or a team full of bug type Pokemon. Now, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I got Littlefoot and Samos here. Uh, these are two fossils that I found. Or, well, the Helix fossil I got from Turbo, which was fantastic. And the Sail fossil I got in Coney Coney Town um, in Olivia's shop that I actually forgot about. So I went and revived them. I leveled them up because they are going to keep me alive, hopefully, sooner or later, probably. And I'm going to bring these bad boys onto the team, not for you, in place of my two Pokemon that are weak to grass or not grass types, bug types. That's what they're called. Uh, just because it gives me more options, you know, Does that makes sense. Now, I think that should keep us safe. I think that Mac can handle herself because she has Stone Edge. What I'm afraid of is the thought of Guzma having a, uh, a Motham, because Motham learns Quiver Dance. All, all his Pokemon probably have Quiver Dance, which is scary on its own. I'm going to just take on Guzma now. I think we'll be fine. Am I searching the bridge? Why don't you start the edge? Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to take on Guzma yet. Okay, maybe I am supposed to fight children. I'm really glad that this battle is probably going to be mostly cut out, because this Clefable is terrible. Going for a Moonblast. It's gonna die this turn anyways, it does not matter. That was a crit. That crit does not matter, you are dead. You better be dead, or I'm fucked. Good, okay. Wow. That was a really annoying battle. I'm really glad that that happened. So, good. All right. Well, that was a waste of my time. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. I don't really know what I'm doing here right now. I'm just taking on trainers, uh, getting ready for a fight against Guzma. And that's probably going to be something that fucks me up anyway. So we're going to have a lot of stuff cut out. I honestly don't think most of these battles are going to be important enough for me to keep anything in. So, but now I really think about it. If I'm fighting Pokemon, I'm, I don't know why I'm at Festival Plaza, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But either way, uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. That's actually a really good strategy though. Uh, if I have Turbo out and it's a special attacker, then I can just set up Amnesias and then start Shell Smashing if they don't have any physical attacks, because then I just get, I just go down minus three defense and then pl still plus three in special defense, and then we're just Gucci. So I'm gonna set up some Max Repels and we're gonna let Littlefoot get, take a stab at some battles. If there's any more battles to be had, which there might be. I might be unintentionally avoiding them, though. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to have zero interaction with any of these people. I don't even know what I'm... I'm looking for Kakui. That's what I was looking for. Hi, Kakui. What's bopping? Oh, look, there's a trainer over there. Ah, <sighs> Sharing an extra... You guys are trying to something happen. Sure did. Uh, Ultra Worm. Oh, they were talking about... I. You know, I honestly forgot that Aether Paradise happened last episode. Because I literally took on a Nihilego, and that was it. So, know what? Observatory Mount Hakadai by Luna. I didn't read that properly, so I'm a little dumb. But I feel like this fight against Guzma, I'm gonna be a little under level, and I think that's gonna fuck me up. Either way, I'm gonna stick to my guns. It is Ula Ula Island. That's fantastic. I did know the name of it. Either way. Is there not a fight? Is there not a fight with Guzma? I thought... I have a stroke, I swear to God. Okay. I, there's literally... There's no fight with Guzma. What am I doing here? What was the point of anything? Do I come back here later and fight Guzma? God damn it. I just don't fucking remember anything. I don't know. There's maybe you met with her. I'm sorry. I'm asking something. Anyway, what I really want to ask about... I'm gonna go to the ruins. I would love to go to the ruins with you, uh, Lily. That would be fantastic. He's going to the library. Oh, great. I have to do all this shit. Okay. Well, everything... Clearly, my memory of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is 
non-existent. Because I really thought that I had a battle against... Uh, I thought I had a battle against Guzma. Clearly I did not. Clearly I'm stupid. But who would have been surprised by that? <laughs> Alright. Well, Lily's gonna show me a bunch of stuff and then... I guess I'm definitely not taking on that trial today. I'm not fighting Sophocles. I will die. I know I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that Togedemaru uh, is the totem Pokemon in this game. So we don't have to worry about um, getting our shit wrecked by a Vicavolt this time around. Unless a Vicavolt is what it ends up <laughs> it ends up calling for help. Which, if its ally Pokemon is a Vicavolt, then this game sucks. So I'll tell you that. But it'll probably be like a Charge Bug or something. I know. Let's see. So... Araquanid had the same. Araquanid had the same ally Pokemon that Wishy Washy had, but Marowak got Salazzle as its ally Pokemon. Lorantis was the same as it it was in the original games, and it still had a Comfey. And I'm pretty sure Comfey is this. Am I supposed to talk to Samuel? Are you here for a reason? Uh, you must already know about regional variants. Of course I do. I'm not stupid. Oh, okay. You're just going to teach me all about regional variants. Well, I already know that. I'm not stupid, folk. Don't patronize me. Oh, look. Acerola. I think that's how you say her name. And I can never remember. She gives us some book. Yeah, that's probably a book. I, I, I would honestly... I think Acerola's trial is going to be super easy. Because I'm pretty sure it's still Mimikyu. And I don't think Mimikyu fucked me up last time around. I think probably no I don't know but honestly this time around we're pretty we're pretty well prepared for most stuff this is like super boring and I read it last time and literally the intro moment to the episode was just me with an echo effect reading the book because that was really like back in the good old days this game is so compact with shit that did not matter that this entire episode I'm pretty sure first off you don't fight how here in the those games so I'm pretty sure the last time around this episode was more or less just talking to Lily and I actually did, you know, um, I actually read the dialogue and shit. So, you know, way back when things were important. I don't remember. I don't know what you just said to me, uh, Rotom. I was hoping you would give me advice instead of opening the map, but I guess I'm just supposed to go on my way to the next trial, which we're not going to do. So I'm going to get an encounter. And we're going to call it an episode. This episode did not have as much stuff as I thought it was. Because I'm stupid. I don't want to fight you, lady. I don't think you were going to fight me either way, but I'm not. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to run into a stupid, probably Firo. It's going to encounter here. I think I counted Firo as a separate encounter last time around. I can't remember. But either way, let's see what we get. I'll take it. I love Pancham. I love Pancham. But I'm getting a lot of fighting types, and I'm starting to get like you know, flashbacks of fucking <laughs> Blaze Black 2 where I had nothing but water types and life was pain. I have a lot of rock types on my team. I don't know what's going on. I gotta switch my team up because I'm taking on a fucking electric type trial next time around. And I'm not going in with two water types. So I actually don't know what to do with Togedemaru. Because Togedemaru... It's a steel type, so I could probably go into turn. Oh my god, that's a big boy. Hello? He called for help. He called for his father. She called for her father. I don't like this. Okay, Pangoro, I need you to go away for a second. I need you to. This is. This is nothing that concerns you. Goodbye. <laughs> go away. I really wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a Pancham. I was expecting a tiny little Pancham. I was not expecting the father. But, you know, that's fine. Don't call for more help. Don't call for your mother. That'd be terrible. I'm gonna just throw an Ultra Ball at you. Please stay in the ball. I want you to be my friend. We can be best buddies, you and I. Two. Look at that. She wants to be friends. Look at that. We're best friends now. Perfect. All right. I don't have a name for a Panchan, if I'm being honest with you. But, um... I don't know. That was a pretty good encounter, though. I'll tell you that. Then again, um, it's gonna evolve into two types that I already have other Pokemon. I, at least two Pokemon of. I have three Dark types and... Two other, or well, I have three other dark types and two other fighting types. So, Panjam is probably like bottom uh, to your choice out of all of them. Well, for the fighting types at least. Another dark type, 
She is literally the second best dark type I have as an option behind Eviolite, so. I'm gonna call you Iris. That's just a name that came to my head the second I looked at you. You look like an Iris. I'm gonna send you the box, and we're gonna call it an episode. So, this episode was a little shorter than I thought because that battle with the Fable took like five minutes, 10 minutes maybe, and it's only been 28 minutes of recording time. So, with that, uh, we're gonna call it an episode. We actually didn't take on Guzma. Surprise, surprise, I'm a dumbass and I don't remember things. Uh, who would have thought? Who would have guessed? But, anyways. With everything done, we're going to be taking on the trial next episode, so I might have to go grind or take on some of these trainers and see how it goes. I'm going to probably switch up my team so we're actually prepared and don't lose Pokemon because last time around we got massacred against a Vikavolt, and I don't want a massacre to happen against a Togemaru. I'm pretty confident that I can Mac can probably one-shot Togemaru unless its defense goes up, but if it does, if its defense doesn't go up, I don't know if it has sturdy or not, but I think a hammer arm will just murder it. So. Anywho, with that, we're going to call an episode to you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and get deposit right to that PC party. Share it with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at PCBowmaster. Join the Discord links down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am PCBowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.